I want to thank everybody for your prayers and support. This has been an incredibly difficult time for me and for my family. And any prayer that you can send our way, heartfelt, with faith and without doubt, is the greatest form of payment if you have any desire to pay back for this ministry. And I truly appreciate it. So please continue to pray for us. The Lord has been very faithful and supportive, kind and generous, as well as patient with this situation, and has continued to give me messages and asked me to share these with you. I received this message on July 26, 2023 at 10.39 a.m. And the message says, Write, son, that I love you and nothing can touch you. I guide, I guide your every step. Now fear not, son, for the day is at hand that you shall see the Son of Man descending in the clouds of glory. In parentheses, I say glory to you, Father. In the middle of the way where the road parteth, there shall you find a colt. Untie it and bring it to me. And if anyone should ask, say, The Lord hath need of it. Follow the path, son, for the broad way leads to destruction, and many go by it. In parentheses, few will find it. Let those who have ears to hear, hear it. For this is a hard saying, and few can hear it. Speak my word and my truth, son, for time is at hand. Rest now, son. Share the message. I love you, Lord Jesus, Yeshua, Abba, Holy Spirit. Amen. So the cult has to do with the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, verse 3 and 4. Let me read it to you. And in verse 3 says, And if any man say unto you, Why do you do this? Say you that the Lord had need of him, and straightway he will send him either. And in verse 4 it says, And they went their way and found the colt tied by the door without a place, without in a place where two ways met, and they loose him. The second reference has to do with the broad way and the narrow way, which is in Matthew 7, verses 13 and 14. So when we understand the message, what the Lord is talking about is that two ways are going to meet. And the two ways are the broad way and the narrow way. When they meet, the colt should be untied. And the colt signifies the start of the seven day holy week that goes from what we call Palm Sunday until Resurrection Sunday. The seven day also signify the seven years of tribulation. And what the Lord is indicating is that we are at a crossroad where everybody will have to make a decision whether they are on the narrow path or they are on the broad path because the seven days of the tribulation or the seven years of the tribulation are really about to unfold. When you look at the verse numbers is 11, which is 1 plus 1, 2, and then verse 3, 2 and 3, 23, as well as 11, 4, so it's 2 and 4, so it's 23 and 24. And what the Lord seems to be pointing to is that we are right at the time where these two ways are meeting and everybody will have to make a decision and make sure they choose the narrow path. This is a difficult time for everybody, myself included. We have to stay rooted in the Word of God. The enemy is trying every single way to come up against us. And you are called to stay in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth our Lord and our Savior, and to really follow the narrow path, which is actually inside the broad path. And so it's very easily you can step out off onto the broad path because it's right next to it. So continue on the narrow path. Continue to abide in Him. I hope this message blessed you. Thank you for your prayers. In Jesus' name, amen.